Does Judaism believe that there is life after death? Well, the Rambam maintains that when a person dies, his soul, the souls of the righteous, if the person has lived a basically ethical and moral uh, life, then his soul lives on. And that's uh, that's the ultimate reward. That's eternal life. And that's characterized as the ultimate good that a person can experience. But the question is, is there such a thing as resurrection of the dead? Do we return? Does anyone return to this world and resume existence in a physical form, which that's referred to as the resurrection of the dead. Now, the Rambam Maimonides says that belief in that doctrine is fundamental. A person is obligated to believe that um, the, the dead will be resurrected. The question, of course, is how does that work out with the concept of the um, afterlife, where a person's soul lives on? So the way the Rambam works it out is as follows. The ultimate reward, he maintains, is the life of the soul in the, in the so-called world to come. It's after death. However, there is such a thing as resurrection of the dead, which means to say that a person resumes physical existence in this world. It's the same person. He, so to speak, comes back. He doesn't come back. I mean, that's a miracle of God. It's founded upon the idea that God created the world out of nothing. So if God can create the world out of nothing, he can take all of the cells, so to speak, of the uh, deceased, bring them together, and reconstruct the person. And um, people ask a lot of questions. What, at what age will I come back? What condition will I be in? And so on and so forth. But the Ramam says we don't really know anything about those particulars other than that people will be resurrected and resume physical existence. Nevertheless, there is a dispute among the Jewish theologians. The question is, to, to return to physical existence, is that the ultimate reward? Will those people who are returned, will they live eternally? And that's the ultimate good that we're talking about? The Rambam says no. There are others that say yes, that's the uh, world to come. They identify the world to come with resurrection. The Rambam does not. He says that the ultimate good, the ultimate state, is the state of the soul separated from the body. However, God will bring back not all, but certain people. Certain people will be resurrected. They will resume physical existence in this world. They'll live a long, healthy life, but eventually they'll die. And they will then again return to that state of the world to come. It's not, it's not always easy to know what the, which people will come back, which people won't come back, but it seems, this is the explanation um, that I'm familiar with, which I think makes a lot of sense, that it's associated with the perfection of human history, with the advent of the Messiah. So there are certain great, great people that uh, lived in the past, and then they died, but they're so great, and their services will be so needed in the time of the Messiah that these figures will come back and perform their services again to enable mankind to reach its elevated state. But that's a this worldly phenomenon. Uh, eventually they will die and they will resume, as we said, they'll resume existence as in, in the world to come. And that is the existence of the soul without the body. So that's the question. Uh, are all people destined to be resurrected? or only certain people. These are theological uh, disputes. They can't be, we have no way to resolve which one is true, which one is not true, but we're obligated to believe in the phenomenon itself. It's enough for a person to believe that there is such a thing as the world to come, that there is an ultimate reward for a person's good deeds, and that there is a phenomenon of resurrection of the dead, that people who are deceased will return to physical existence in this world. It's not necessary to decide which is the correct formulation. As long as one believes in the phenomenon itself, whether it's like the Rambam says, that it's not for everybody and it's just a temporary situation, or whether it's like others say that now, all the righteous people will come back and that is the ultimate reward. That's not dispositive, that's not vital in terms of our beliefs. As long as we believe in the phenomenon itself, we are fulfilling our obligation in terms of correct Jewish belief.